Ever heard the one about the guy who went to the doctor and found out he was B positive? Doctor said, I know you are, but what's your blood type? Now let's dive into the fascinating world of blood types. No, we're not talking about vampire diets or the latest fad in matchmaking. We're about to spill the truth, or rather, the blood, on what your type might say about your health. It's a peculiar thing, this blood type business. Your type doesn't dictate whether you're more likely to enjoy romantic comedies over action flicks, or if you should stick to a career in finance over becoming a circus clown. But intriguingly, it can give us a few hints about your health. Are you prone to certain diseases? Could your blood type affect your digestion? Or even, dare we say it, your fitness level? So stick around if you want to find out if your blood type makes you more of a couch potato or a marathon runner. So, you're type O, huh? The universal donor, the life of the party, the one everyone can count on, for a blood transfusion, that is. Type O blood is like the friend who always brings the best snacks to the potluck. Everyone's thrilled to see them. But there's a bit more to being type O than being everyone's favorite blood donor. Studies have shown that type O's have a lower risk of heart disease. That's right, your heart is likely as robust as a marathon runner's, even if the most running you do is to catch the ice cream truck. But before you start celebrating, let's talk about stomach ulcers. Type O's have a higher risk of developing them. It's like being great at donating blood, but not so great at digesting food. So while you're out there saving lives with your universal blood, make sure to take care of your tummy too. But hey, at least you're less likely to get heart disease. Silver lining, right? Type A, the agrarian. You might not be farming, but your body sure thinks you should be. Now, the health implications of type A blood are quite a mixed bag. On the bright side, you guys have a lower risk of stomach cancer, so cheers to that. But before you start celebrating, there's a catch, a higher risk of heart disease. So maybe hold off on that second piece of cake. Here's a fun fact. Type A's are great at digesting grains and vegetables. So while your friends are struggling with their kale salads, you're over there like, what's the big deal? But here's the twist in the tale. You may be a champion at chomping down veggies, but your Achilles heel, stress. Yep. Type A's aren't exactly the Zen masters of the blood type world, so next time you're stressed, just remember, it's not you, it's your blood type. Type B, the balanced. But don't get too excited, it doesn't mean you're good at yoga. You see, folks with type B blood may have an interesting health paradox. On one hand, studies suggest they might have an increased risk of, brace yourself, pancreatic cancer. Not the most cheerful news, right? You're probably thinking, I can't even locate my pancreas, let alone worry about it. But let's lighten the mood a bit. Just like a well-crafted sitcom plot twist, it's not all doom and gloom. Type Bs also tend to have a lower risk of memory issues. So while your pancreas might be a bit dramatic, your brain is like that reliable friend who always remembers everyone's birthdays, anniversaries, and even where you left your sunglasses last summer. So to all the type Bs out there, you might need to keep a closer eye on your pancreas, but at least you're less likely to forget where you put your keys. So, what did we learn today? that your blood type can say a lot about you, but it's not going to tell you your fortune. Let's take a quick trip down the vascular highway. We met type O, the universal donor, always ready to help anyone in a pinch. But beware, type O, those pesky mosquitoes seem to think you're the bee's knees. Then there's type A, the agrarian preferring tofu over T-bone steak. Just remember, type A, balance is key. Don't let that stress get to you. Next up, type B, the balanced, with a versatile diet, but a higher tendency for some less than fun conditions. But hey, at least you're not a mosquito magnet. And let's not forget our rare gem, AB, the universal recipient, but also prone to a few more health hiccups than the rest. So remember, whether you're O, A, B, or AB, your blood type might shape your health, but it sure doesn't define you. Unless you're a vampire, then it's probably pretty important.